Captain on the bridge. All right, Captains, we are back on the bridge, and today we got some stuff to go over from the Star Trek Online official Twitter feed. So, on screen. Captains, we are a little late on some of these things, but we thought we would still get this done. Now, this video will get released on the 28th. Actually, it's the 28th, but it's 1 o'clock in the morning, but we thought we would get this out there. We just finished our stream there on, on the Twitch bridge. So, we'll cover what we had missed, and we'll drop our two ECs as usual, and then we'll give our conclusions. So, here we go. Uh, before we start, related... Happy birthday to Nana Visitor, of course, who is Kira Nerys. Looking very Kira there indeed. So the first thing we'll go over here. So starting next week, the Terran Archer on Dreadnought will come to the Infinity Lockbox on Xbox and PlayStation. So this is for my console caps. Now, we did already a video covering this in the stats. I will have that video in the description and at the end here. But we'll go over it quickly. Now, this is not my cup of tea. It is a very, I mean, the sticks was not a cup of tea of mine, honestly, but it is what it is. There it is, Caps, the Archeron, or aka the Hammerhead. Now, there is the video there. Now, but to those captains who haven't seen that video, we'll, we'll go, at least go over this. Go over this. How's that? There you go, Caps. So that was the Emperor's ship there in the last featured episode. And yeah, I called the Hammerhead the original ship of this, the Styx, which I call the Cockroach. So there you go. My console Caps is going to be there. We'll, now this is going to be released August 2nd. There again, on Xbox and PlayStation. So you're going to be able to get this. If you so choose so, again, this is from the Infinity Lockbox. Highly recommend, Captains, not to gamble. Okay? Our recommendation is buy the keys. Put them on the exchange until you get enough EC to do it. So you can guarantee yourself this ship. Just saying. Again, not something for me. But I believe it was a Temp Ops. There you go. Temp Ops. Full Temp Ops ship right there. But again, we went already over that. So we'll link that video there. So there's that. And Captain's my apologies for being late on that. We had in real life stuff to do. And I wasn't actually feeling well the night before. So I had to just take a sort of night off there. Also here, we're going to go here. We'll read the tweet first. So Captain's on PC. So the PC bridge can earn bonuses to their Admiralty missions this week. So here we go. So Admiralty Bonus Week, Captains on PC can earn bonuses to the Admiralty Project this week. Starting this Thursday, we're launching the Admiralty Bonus event from July 28th. So that'll be right after the maintenance. And again, the day we're going to release this video in the morning of to August 4th, 10 a.m. Your Admiralty missions will give out bonus rewards during this special event. You'll find that all of your assignments give out double campaign XP, allowing for faster progression no matter whose missions you're completing. Get it in good with the Ferengi, serve the Federation, or the Klingon Empire to help or help rebuild the Roman Republic. In addition, all Tour of Duty missions will award bonus to Lithium or during this event. We hope 
you enjoy this special event captains command your fleet to take to the stars so there you go captains you know we highly recommend always doing admiralty this is our way of getting our in-game resources via dilithium that you get as reward as mentioned and just bonus dilithium here so all especially on a max tune if you've gotten all your specialization points when you roll over that level cap of 65 you're going to get bonus dilithium so this is just my choice because i do actually enjoy doing this but uh there you go captains there's that so next thing up here is star trek online will have pc maintenance tomorrow estimated downtime 2.5 hours you can find the patch notes here so check out all the exciting changes coming to Star Trek Online in our latest patch notes. So again, just for PC, updated memorial plaque to include David Warner and Paul Servino. Captains, we did actually cover that in our la one of our last videos there. So again, it is so cool that they're going to be adding them there. Maybe we'll do a special tribute to them just because, you know, they contributed to the Star Trek universe we all love and enjoy so Again, rest in peace, David Warner and Paul Servino. Resolved an issue that was preventing the Romulan Operative Bridge Officer trait from activating. So let's see if that fixes that. T5 versions of applicable ships now properly unlock Gem Hadar gunboats and Gem Hadar attack hangar pits. So there you go, caps. Type 6 windows will now appear correctly on the Nova family of ships. Didn't even know that was an issue. Best of trim pattern has been added to all materials on the Nova family of ships. The bridge officer trait reboot now has a proper icon so there you go captains just we don't normally cover this but it's here why not now the other thing that we'll mention here is we covered this in our last video that we released just today or yesterday on the 27th star trek online replying to terry metallis Shutting this down before people get their hopes up. It's not what you think. So what the F are they talking about then? Get it? What the F? Cough? Okay, I'll see myself out. Now, we are, of course, making a guess that that means the Enterprise F will make its appearance in Star Trek Picard because Terry Metallis is like a showrunner of Star Trek Picard. And that would be very interesting. Now, I said this on stream tonight which is there's two ways that they'll go about this. One, they'll actually bring in Star Trek Online Enterprise F, which is the Odyssey class. And if they do, I hope it's the Yorktown class. Now, the Odyssey class, like I mentioned before, was already in the Picard comics, though. But we're hoping they show it on screen. Now, the other way that they'll go is a brand new Enterprise F. I kind of hope they almost go that way. But it would be nice to see the Enterprise F Odyssey class variants Yorktown on screen. We're just going to have to wait and see, Captain. So let's see where that takes us. So there you go, Caps. Thought we would drop this quickly here. Again, my apologies in real life duties. And we weren't really feeling so well there. But just thought we would cover those things. Again, the Archeron will be releasing there on the console bridge next week. We have an Admiralty bonus event going on for pc and of course the patch notes we just went there so there you go caps we hope all of you are well like the video comment below subscribe to the youtube bridge and we will leave it on this note live long and prosper